He carried his own bag during his travels and visited a slum in Rio de Janeiro. And his message to his young followers sounded downright subversive. Sejam revolucionarios. Be revolutionaries. I ask you to swim against the tide. Yes, I am asking you to rebel. On his way back to Rome, the Pope spoke to reporters at length about difficult issues, including gay priests. Si una persona gay if a person is gay and seeks the Lord and has good will, who am I to judge him? The Pope did not negate church teaching that homosexuality is a sin, but his words do reflect a more compassionate approach to controversial issues than that of his predecessors. John O'Brien is president of Catholics for Choice, which opposes the church's ban on abortion and contraception. It feels good as a Catholic to have a leader who's not, you know, again talking to us about why we can't use condoms. Again, he's not beating up on gays, or he's not saying that women who have abortions are bad. But he says the rhetoric needs to be followed by real change. And we're not seeing a lot of movement by Pope Francis about actually changing um, some of the teachings that are hugely problematic for Catholics. Still, Francis's first trip abroad suggests that he has a way with large crowds of the faithful not seen since the papacy of John Paul II. Jerome Sokolovsky, VOA News, Washington. <laughs>